We're back again with another lattice training assessment. We have Emil in today and I think he's named for being pretty damn strong. Come on. Ah. First thing we're going to be doing today is looking at some strength metrics, but then we're also going to look at some fitness. We're going to see how you measure up to some of the best climbers in the world. Yeah. Come on. Really. Yeah. I think I am a quite a powerful climber yeah. and I have quite a bit of strength generally, but I have a lot of weaknesses as well. Yeah. The goal is to see what I need for V16 and for 9A routes. Yeah. Okay. And just see where I land in comparison to that on these strength tests. Yeah. So we're already pushing more towards the boulder goals. Yeah, 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 for sure. For yeah. sure. Keep it there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Test number one is MVC pulling as hard as possible. So this is where we're going to see your strength basically. <laughs> Okay. Okay, three, two, one, and pull, 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 pull. Come on, really hard. Everything you got. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Really good. Keep it there, keep it there. <sighs> good work. Right. Yeah, one down. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. We all have different uh, ideas of what fun is. <laughs> <laughs> and pull, pull, pull. Come on, come on, really hard. Everything you got. Okay, and pull, pull. Come on, come on, keep going. Keep more, 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 more. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Come on, Emil. Come on, keep it there. Keep it there. Come on, keep going, keep going. Really good. Jesus Christ, I'm doing five hangs. Like, even this is endurance for me. Yeah. Because I'm just like trying so hard when I'm just going for a few seconds like that. Keep it there. Come on. Really good, really good. Keep it there. Keep it there. Come on. Really good. <sighs> nice work. You never really get to try quite as hard when climbing quite often because you always you always have these elements that play into part that the complexity of it. Yeah, yeah. the complexity yeah. of the sport makes it really difficult to actually try freakishly hard. Yeah. Unless you're very, very, very skilled. So training's part of the sport, isn't it? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like isolating it like this is so much fun. <sighs> best go, best go, come on, go, 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 come on, come on, come on, Emil, go, 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 go. Come on. Everything you got, empty the tank. Come on, Emil. Really good. Keep it there, keep it there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Ah. Really good. So well, I think that was the last one actually, so. Oh really? Good effort, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's a good time. Then we're gonna do RFD, or rate of force development. Uh -huh. And this is looking at contact strength. Uh -huh. So how fast you can apply that force. This test is quite nice. You only have to pull down for a couple seconds. Okay. And then you can relax. We're gonna alternate hands. <sighs> pull, 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 pull. <sighs> nice. One, pull, 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 pull. <sighs> <sighs> Exciting stuff. Pull, 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 pull. <sighs> Test number three is the really pumpy one. So this is all about persevering through what feels like a long test. It's only four minutes, but you're gonna do seven free repeaters, pulling down hard as you can for seven seconds. And again, it's like maximal the whole way through. So every time we hit a seven second hang, yeah. uh, you're gonna just be applying as much force as you can. I'm not ready. I'm not emotionally ready for this. It's pretty simple. Just, uh, just Get into the pain cave. Yeah, yeah. Get on the struggle bus. Yeah. And pull, 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 pull. Come on, everything you got. Come on, more, more, more. Keep it up there. Come on, Emil. Really good. Keep it there. Keep it there. Good work. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep that force up. Good work. Nice. Eh? Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Really good. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep that. Don't give up. You've got so much more to give. But empty the tank now. Keep going. Keep going. God. Keep going. God. Come on, keep it there. Come on, really good. Duh. God damn, that power screen works. <laughs> Come on. Duh. Come on, really good. Come on, Emil, keep going. Duh. Come on, Emil. Duh. Come, on, Emil. Duh. Come on, nearly there. Nearly there. Go, go, go. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Duh. Come on, go, 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 go. Good work, and you're done. And you're done. <laughs> Solid V2 in my gym. <laughs> Pumped? No, no, no. No, not at no, all. No, I, I didn't feel it. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. I just let you compose yourself. <laughs> We're all good. It's quite a strange feeling to be like completely just boxed out in one arm and, and not the other. And still go, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm very curious how it went. I managed to try really hard, I felt like. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I took a picture actually, cause like, uh, so when you started like power screaming in some of those reps, like you can literally see like the power scream. Oh wow! And that's not even that's not even like a small amount. That's oh, like an extra wow. like holy. It's like an extra ten kilos almost. <laughs> Just when that's you're amazing. like already like really tired. <clears throat> yeah, it was actually the middle part that was the worst. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, at the end, I was like so tired that yeah. like 
you know, if you add 10 more minutes, not much will happen. Just given up. Yeah. yeah. Like I tried hard, but I couldn't do, I couldn't like produce force anymore. It's like when the gazelle is caught in the lion's mouth and it's just like, this is me yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, this is like... <laughs> Chilling. Yeah, so far so good. I think I could try for 20, because I don't know how many reps I'll have in my system today from yeah, all okay. the yeah, yeah. all the exercises so far. Okay, you got it. Come on, Anna. Come on. Come on. Come on, go, 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 come on. Come on. No, I don't have that in me right now. Sorry, come on now. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. Nice. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Pull, pull, pull. Come on. Go, 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 go. Come on. Go, go, go. <sighs> it's just not there. Good I would effort. have to kip to do it. Yeah, yeah. And then it's not really fair. I think I just have to accept today's that this form might not be yeah, yeah. top level. Chalking up, ready to go. <clears throat> Let's go. Struggle bus. <laughs> Three, two, one. Come on, keep going. Come on, keep going. Come on. <laughs> I literally can't. Yeah. The last one was just like, I'm not moving. It was like doing a, like a hundred kg or something. Yeah, Bench yeah. press, which is like, okay. <laughs> Box split. Right. So I find it's a little bit easier without shoes on for this one because you sure. can kind of slide into it a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's take a nice bit of wall. You kind of want um, like feet pointing forwards. Your hips can come out from the wall like this. So you want to like sink them back okay. to lean in. Um, just go as wide as you can. Yeah. Hold that position. I'm going to measure from heel to heel. Okay. This is quite good, by the way. I mean, I can tell you when you come out above height, you have over 100 percent. That's a good score. Yeah. So that's good. Do you stretch much or just from climbing? Uh, I have stretched a bit, but not much, no. Yeah, yeah. I can, when I stretch much, I'm a lot more flexible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I do that like specifically to prepare for certain boulders. Stuff, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it comes really quickly when yeah, I actually yeah. start stretching it. And otherwise, I'm not very flexible. Yeah. I would say. Basically, just forward fold. So, I just want you to like feet like sort of below your hips. Just go down and then try and reach your deepest position. Palms to floor is ultimately where you want to get. If you can go below that, you can. No, you can no worries, my that. friends. <laughs> we will not get palms to floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna get. Yeah? Yeah. One more go. Deep exhale on the way down. So a big inhale. Good effort, I'll give you that. Yes. <laughs> Flexibility gains. <laughs> Sit, keep those elbows locked out, nice and straight. Sit. Can you bring your hands a little bit more in line with your shoulders? <sighs> okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah. oh, it's so cramping almost. <sighs> okay, so. Like this? Yeah. Nah, that's as far as I'm gonna get. Yeah, it's not too bad. On the other side. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Nice. Flexi boy. It's nice to start with a bit of context, actually. So let's let's discuss 
goals. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, we had a chat and we spoke about goals being V15. Yeah. Uh, V16. 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 Yeah. And 9A Sport. Yeah. Um, I'd say that's balanced in favor of bouldering in terms of difficulty. For sure. But yeah. where you'll definitely already have the background of bouldering, but not so much in sport climbing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's the context. That's kind of what we're weighing it up against. And yeah. we're going to see if you're strong enough for these grades, for V16 and 9A. Your finger strength uh -huh. came out around 99% body weight, basically. Uh, so about body weight, which is... I suppose uh, kind of what you're expecting, maybe a little bit lower than... Yeah, a little bit normal. lower. Just considering I could hang. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. a different type of contraction, so I, I guess like you can't like compare the two directly. I think when you you hang in this position, it's quite different to... Exactly. ...to uh, being underneath and like being in that more yeah. pulling position. And then 10 second average is around 87, 85. It's always going to be lower because yeah. it's not your peak force. Yeah. Uh, we'll compare that to some of your grades. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty weak. <laughs> Week for for around the V16 level, but is that kind of what you're expecting around body weight? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, on that edge, uh, I, it's like on a good day I can hang on those edges. But yeah, on like a good good day yeah. I yeah, I yeah. would do do it. So if it's like a testing day, you know, th this is probably my average. I don't think this was like any worse than yeah, yeah. than most days. So I would say that that's what I expected. So that's probably something to think about in terms of training. Sure, yeah. But keep it keep it contextualized to your boulder goals. Yeah. So if you're going to Switzerland and you've got some crimpy projects, then maybe, but open-handed stuff, it's not gonna be quite as specific. Rate of force development. What? This came out as low as well. Extremely low, that's very interesting. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. What is your climbing style like? Well, what, what, what makes me Curious about it is like take power of now for instance. Yeah. Where it's literally like you jump to a an edge. super quick contraction. Yeah. And then you do another super like the same thing basically. Yeah, yeah. So I figured maybe I could be okay at this yeah. comparably. Managed well there's timing as well. Exactly. Like, if you to can find the timing for it better. You know how they say like in climbing like when you float to a hold. Yeah. Like if you can time your time you get that hold yeah and you hit it in perfect weightlessness like sometimes you don't need to snatch to it this was the interesting one because it's endurance and i think you were like maybe not expecting to get the best score in this one I being expect a extremely bolderer. bad results okay so uh 44 45.4 uh, percent body weight so uh -huh. this is your level of critical force we compare that to 9A. What? This is ridiculous. It's pretty good. No way. Yeah, yeah. This is so funny. <laughs> what in the... <laughs> what? How do I even... How do I even interpret this? This is literally the opposite of what I would expect this test to go for me. I always feel like fitness and endurance are the, my, like, by far most limiting factors quite often. Yeah. Uh, like the one thing I have, which I also brought out here, was like trying really freaking hard and like screaming my way through. Yeah. But even so, like that's just because I don't have the capacity, is my thinking, to not do that. These results are like quite fascinating to me. When it comes to training anaerobic sort of energy systems, like, uh, you know, uh, boulder doubles, boulder triples, or four by fours, do you yeah. do any of this kind of stuff in your training? Uh... Or do you more do hard, intense section, take a rest, hard, intense no, section, take a rest? That's the crazy thing. I do like, I climb a ton. Like I rest really little between goes. Yeah. So I'm like constantly on the wall, almost. Yes, yeah, so that I think actually would push you towards training your critical force more. You basically had a bad day with pull-up strength. That and pretty tired as well, traveling, yeah. filming. Um, and you still did plus 60 kilos, which was a little bit under body weight, but you're still kind of achieving that level of strength for V15. I think if you pushed up to V16, like there's a bit of room to improve. But I think we already spoke today that like on a good session, you're gonna be pulling much more than that. I don't think it comes in as a weakness. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't think so either. I think it's uh, not really something I need to train so much. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of one of those things, if you keep it recruited, yeah. you're going to feel strong, you're going to feel good in your training. Exactly. It's going to um, have that impact in your climbing. Yeah, I think it's good for me to keep it like just slightly above where it is right now. Uh, so that like, say two rep 70, it's pretty good for me, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that feels like a good level. And you don't really need to put much more effort into improving that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just keep it recruited. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. And with the press ups, again, like this one is muscular endurance. It, it's going to correlate with your strength, but uh, we don't we don't put like we don't correlate this with grade because it's, it's a little bit too far removed. Yeah. It's yeah. never going to correlate that well. So we have we kind of say anything above forty reps is like a little bit like your pull up. We would say stop training that. Yeah, there's better things to be doing. So at forty seven uh, press ups, push ups. Yeah, yeah, good to go. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Conditioning. I think this is something I expected when you came in today was your strength and conditioning was not going to be an issue mm -hmm. and it, it's, it shows in this test. Flexibility was good, okay. uh, shoulders were a bit in the middle, they weren't bad, they weren't excellent. Oh, okay. That's typical of boulders, you yeah. know, Any, you spend a lot of time out here while doing this, yeah. like maybe if you're a comp climber you do a little bit more yeah. of this. So I, I actually probably wouldn't wouldn't mess with that in training, I, yeah. I think uh, having like that tightness is just more because of the muscle mass and the training you do up there. Um, the hips is normally something that can always improve a little bit in climbers and, and mm. actually really help their climbing. But already you're doing quite well, like this, it's not a weakness. This was really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting me, well, go through all this. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there. Emil's looking pretty tired. I yeah, think we've, we've pushed him through enough testing. Um, if you want to test, check out your own finger strength, uh, we do have a free testing session on our website called My Fingers, so you can go over there and we can give you some results based on your finger strength. Um, if you want to do a more in-depth assessment, we have a remote assessment where you do some of the tests that Emil did today, like the pull-ups and press-ups, and see how that relates to your climbing. But otherwise, thank you for watching this episode. Emil, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>